Hello everyone and welcome to my unboxing uh, video for the Scrapbooking Store March 2020 kit. This kit is made up of two different collections from Authentique uh, from last year, 2019. One is Cottontail and then the other is a selection from the calendar line. Um, we have a spring theme, Easter theme kind of going on with this kit. So I'm going to show you what comes in the main kit and then I will share with you what comes in the embellishment upgrade. All of the information for scrapbookingstore.com, uh, either their uh, monthly kit or if you want to make a one-time purchase, uh, visit their blog for inspiration or their Facebook group to see all the stuff that the design team is putting out for each kit. Um, all of that is in the description box below, including my affiliate link, which doesn't cost you any more money, but if you would like to make a purchase from them, either one time or the kit, uh, if you do it through that link, it does give me a bit of a commission. All right, so let's go through the papers. First, we have Cottontail 1, and it has multicolor pastel little carrots in rows. It's very cute. The B side of this is a pink and cream gingham. One thing I will say, um, Authentique uh, has two different types of paper where they have some that are textured and some that are smooth. This particular kit has the smooth paper, so I just wanted to make sure people were aware of that. Next up, we have paper number two, or Cottontail two, and this side has these sweet, sweet vintage -y bunny looks on, um, sorry, what I'm trying to say is there are bunnies with several different looks on their faces. It's very cute. And then the background has little florals as well as micro dots on pink on cream. The B side are dotted multicolored stripes. Super duper cute, that. Great background. And then next up we have Cottontail 3 and it's multicolored odd dot, that was an interesting way to say that word, odd shaped dots. Uh, you could say they're Easter eggs, you could say they're jelly beans, so it's up for interpretation. The B side of this has little bunny silhouettes along with uh, more Easter egg dot style thingies. Next up, we have page number four. This one has vintage newspaper along with vintage um, bunnies and advertisements and stuff like that. So it's really super cute. You could either like fussy cut out bits of that or, um, you know, maybe just like a, for a matting, that would be really, really cute. The B side of this is this multicolored stripe. And so I'll be totally honest, I didn't necessarily really think of what to do with this because once I saw this, I knew I'd be using this side because I love stripes. All right, next up we have number five and it has very cute bunny in uh, portrait framed, very fancy frames. So this is so cute, I can't even stand it. The B side is uh, kind of a basket weave. So it looks like, um, like a really close up wove, uh, picture of a woven basket. So that's really great. That would be really nice for a background if you're interested in that style. Then we have a multicolor plaid for page number six. The B side of this are larger multicolor polka dots. And once again, they have very fancy frames around them. This would be really cute for uh, matting. Next up, we have Cottontail page number seven. It is the cut apart both three by four and four by six. And oh my gosh, that is like the sweetest little drawing. Oh, these would be absolutely fabulous for cards. I mean, just super simple, um, you know, trim it out, maybe add some Nouveau drops or a little bit of enamel dots type thing super duper simple. The B side of this is a very tiny floral in pink and um, with green leaves and green leaves, green leaves and the like. Then we have the final paper. I think it's the final paper for 
Cottontail. Yes, it is the final paper for Cottontail. It is paper number eight. And once again, we have both vertical and horizontal three by fours. Again, great for really simple. Sorry about that. I got a phone call, which almost never happens. And it wasn't even anyone I wanted to talk to. It was, um, as my, as my provider said, likely spam. So I did not even answer. But I was saying I adore this little square with all the bunnies lined up. Here, I'll turn it this way so you can actually see it. I just think that is so cute. It's like the breakfast club for bunnies, if you get my movie reference. All right. B side of this is the green tone on tone bunny paper. Super cute. <laughs> it's like if, if Christmas, Argyle Christmas sweaters were popular for Easter, this would be that. All right, so that is the final paper for Cottontail. We then have four pages. So this is the first paper from Calendar. It is called April Sentiments. And so you have a six by 12 of the multicolor polka dot. Then you've got a six by six of a blue and cream. And then you've got a six by six of a pink and white diagonal stripe. The this is actually probably the A side now that I'm thinking about it. This one has a whole bunch of different cut aparts, lots of things um, for titles, things you can turn into embellishments, really simple. It has tags, it has squares, it has um, a calendar piece. If you are one who does month in review, that would be a really awesome way to do it. So that is the first one from April. We then have May Sentiments, which has almost exactly the same paper, but just slightly different colors. These are obviously um, less muted than the April one. So we've got pink and cream polka dot, and then uh, blue and cream diagonal stripe, and then once again, the multi dot, and then more May themed, where you have uh, a little bit of Mother's Day stuff, and then um, once again, though, the cut aparts for embellishments, the tags, the May calendar, and that one is called May Sentiments. We then have um, from May again, May Patterns, and it's got this really cute uh, floral with all the pinks and the hot pinks and the yellows and the greens and the blues. So super pretty and springy. The other side of this is a multicolor plaid in teal and hot pink and light pink. Super duper pretty. Our last piece of paper is the April patterns from uh, the calendar collection. And one side has multicolor umbrellas and raindrops. And the other side has another plaid, this one teal and purple. So that's fun to bring the purple color in. All right, the final uh, piece of the kit, the main kit for March, is the Authentique Cottontail Elements. Now, these are actually die cuts, so you can see I can pop them out really easily. Um, and these are Easter themed. And I will say these are textured versus the papers, which are not textured, the die cuts are textured. So that is the main kit for the scrapbookingstore.com March 2020 kit. Now I am going to go ahead and show you the embellishment upgrades. All right, there are three pieces to the embellishment upgrades for March 2020. First, we have these puffy stickers from Studio 112. These are a mix of photo corners, some little endy pieces, stars, flowers. These are really cute. I can't wait to start using them. And I'm super excited about, I love these. I have no idea if I'm going to manage to use them or if I'm going to be going, oh, I should save those for the perfect thing, which never ends up happening. So I'm going to try to make sure to use them. Next up from Indigo and Ivy, we have the mixed embellishments. So so here is the Indigo and Ivy embellishments. First, we have these epoxy hearts. And then next we have this, um, the sequins. Now this navy blue doesn't necessarily go with the kit, but there are plenty of other choices to go with in 
sequin color, and I might even find a way to use it. We'll see. We'll see how, you know, experimental I am. And then next we have, and finally, in the um, pink paisley embellishment kit, we have these flower hexagon butterfly ampersand wood veneer. So I am super excited about that. I do so love me some wood veneer. And finally, we have these hip, hip, hooray, hip, hello, hello, today, hey, happy day. I don't remember what they're called. I'll pop it up on the screen because I'll look it up. Um, they are from Studio Calico. They include a cream cursive -y font and then a wood grain tile font along with some stickers, some sticker frames, some word and phrase stickers. So that is super exciting and a lot of fun to work with. So this is the embellishment upgrade. And then I also have the authentic Cottontail and Calendar main kit. Wow, words are hard to be working with this month. I have already chosen the photos I'm going to be working with. I am really looking forward to getting started with this kit. I will have my first video out for you sometime this week. So, all right, everyone, thanks for watching. Flick me a thumbs up if you can. And if you have any interest in this scrapbooking store kits or making a one-time purchase, as I said in earlier, if you could consider doing that through my affiliate link, I would be truly grateful. All right, everyone, bye.